in progress. Congratulations to Jacob Warren, the sixth seed out of the 197 pound weight class, advancing to the national championship. We'll go ahead and open the questions for him. We can go ahead and start with Mike on the right side. Congratulations, Jacob. Well, how did you set up that four point tilt? Did you feel it? Did you know it was going to be there? Had you seen some opening that it could happen? You know, I wrestled him last year and turned him um, here, so I knew I could. I knew I could do something on top. Uh, my last two matches were won by being able to ride, so I knew it was going to be a big factor into this match and. Um, all week, all last week, I was working on getting that wrist tight. Burek and I, right before this, were working out at the hotel, and we were focusing on it, and I got that wrist, and I knew as soon as I got a seatbelt into his hip, I was like, I knew I could do something with it, I knew I could get it, and didn't get it right away. I had to stick with it, had to keep elevating, keep going into him, and made the difference. Let's go front left. A handful of the matches you've lost this year, man, have been just the inability to close. You closed both of these matches today. Is, is it more mental? Is it gas tank? What made the difference this time? Uh, both. I've had a rough year. A um, lot of ups, a lot of downs, a lot of downs. And I take losses really hard, probably harder than what the most common person thinks. And uh, um, I remember sitting, I was sitting at, uh, after I lost for the third place match, showering up, Tom was sitting in there with me. We weren't saying a lot. And, he asked me, he, and he knew I was hurt, and he knew, he's, I'm an emotional guy, I'm an emotional wrestler, I always have been. And he said, he asked me, he goes, what's it going to take to win the national title? I said, I don't know, it's going to take a lot of things, and it took a lot, it took finishing matches, it took riding hard on top, it took getting out on bottom when there's nine seconds left, you know, and um, this whole season I've kind of learned a lot, have a lot of losses on the year, and it's, it's paid off, now, now I'm here. Go Mark. Jacob, you've had a lot of firsts here at the national tournament, first time you beat the kid from Nebraska. Uh, well, in, in yeah, three well, years, in yes. Three years, in three yeah. years, oh, yes. Yeah. So, I mean, you got it off your shoulders. Now you made it to the finals of the national tournament. First time. What do you need to do tomorrow night to finish this Cinderella run? Uh, I don't know if I'd call it a Cinderella run because this whole I knew I was going to be here. I knew I could win this tournament. And um, obviously, I'm in the national finals for a reason. So, just if I'm going to win this tournament, I got to stay in there. Got to wrestle hard, score the whole time. Don't give up. Don't. Give up easy points, um, finishing matches, and I know if I do that, I can, I can win this tournament. It's good, awesome in the back book. You talked a little bit about the ups and downs of this season. How much does this mean to you, having had so many close calls all year long? Uh, this season was a lot of letdowns, and it was all all the matches I lost. I felt like I could have won, and that hurts, and it hurts me a lot. But I mean, I'm not grateful I lost, but I'm grateful for the lessons I learned. Right, so. Um, Feeling good, and yeah, I mean, I learned from. I talked to my coaches, I talked to my teammates, Miles Wilson, Aaron Costello, Ava Saad. They're they're my roommates, and they they talk me through a lot of stuff. You know, level head. They level my head a little bit when when I'm going crazy. They bring me back to surface, and um, I'm super grateful for them. Super grateful for the teammates I have and the coaches. Let's go to Eric in the back. What time? Adjustments in your training, or mental toughness, or a combination of both? Uh, a combination of both. This this is probably the first year I've really really dove into mental toughness, mental training. Terry's big on it. Um, I always thought I had it, you know, um, but you don't ever have it perfect. And that's kind of what I learned this year is that I can always get better on that mental stride. And training wise, um, I know we train hard at Iowa. We train the hardest in the world. So I'm not worried about how hard we train stuff like that. Maybe a, bit, a little bit more specific, working on little individual things, but I know I'll put in the work. Hey, Mike, Jacob, you talked about this being a painful year. For the whole team though, it's been instead of a painful a year ago, you guys were you won this, and all those guys chose to come back, but they won't be winning national championships. Are you providing some salvation for them? Uh, maybe a little, not a lot, though. You know, they're hurting, they're feeling it, and I feel for them. And Michael Kemmer, Caleb Young, Jay Nyerman, Marinelli, like those four guys are guys I came into the program. They made an impact on my life, and Iowa wrestling wouldn't be the same without them. And we're going to miss them this year, and I wanted nothing more for those four to win a national title, right? They're four of the hardest working guys I know, four of the best best people in the world. Um, and they're coming back, they're getting the next best thing. Marinelli and Kemmer have got, got two wins each tonight to put themselves in position to keep going. And uh, that kind of shows the type of people, how they were raised, and the coaches coaching we have here. And you can say it was a disappointing year. Yeah, we're not going, we probably are not going home with the national title. I don't know the team score. I haven't paid attention. Um, but... There's, there's little itty bitty things that we did well, and um, that's huge. That's huge for them to come back. Go ahead, Mark. Last question, Jacob, for me. Uh, you're 
considered a senior at the University of Iowa, but you could come back next year and wrestle again. Are you going to? Yeah, I'm getting my master's, so uh, I have to take one more year to finish my master's. So yeah. it kind of works out perfect for me to come back and keep wrestling because I don't know what I would do anyway, right? I've been <laughs> wrestling since I was six, so this is all I know, and this is what I love and I enjoy the most. So, yeah, I'm coming back. Okay. Thanks, Jacob. Congratulations. Yep, thank you. Recording stopped.